Welcome to Star Arts Academy. Today we are starting a new lecture series which is this uh, circulation system. So first of all, we'll uh, explain the evolution of circulatory system. So the first circulation system is open circulation system. There are many different types of circulation system you may studied in your classes. So we'll discuss what is open circulatory system and what is closed circulatory system. And in the closed circulatory system, we need to discuss that the two chambered heart, three chambered heart and four chambered heart. Okay. So imagine a cup of water, you just drop a spoon of sugar in it and you are left as such. So what happened? The sugar starts uh, dissolving in the water, but the rate of dissolution is very slow. In order to make it fast, what you will do? You will stir it, right? Yeah, that is the exact uh, analogy for the open circulatory system. In insects like a cockroach, we have studied that they are having open circulatory systems with some muscles, heart muscles. So when these muscles are contracted, it produces a water current so that this water current is uh, enhanced the exchange of gaseous molecule. So before that, how the unicellular organisms or very very primitive organisms utilize uh, uh, the circulation system. So in those organisms, the circulation system is not there because they are unicellular. The gases can be directly exchanged between the atmosphere and the organisms. For example, if the unicellular organism, imagine amoeba, when it needs or when it requires oxygen, it can uh, absorb the oxygen by diffusion and when it produces carbon dioxide more and the carbon dioxide can easily diffuse out along the concentration gradient that we have studied in passive transport. So for unicellular organism, the gaseous exchange is not at all a problem, but when the, the multicellular organisms evolve. For example, the multicellular organisms are having uh, many, 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 many cells so that the multicellular organisms, the gaseous uh, exchange by diffusion is a complex phenomenon. That means that some of the cells are uh, in the surface of the organisms that is directly contact with the atmosphere so that it can uh, diffuse oxygen and carbon dioxide in and out according to its uh, requirements. But what happened to the cells which is present inside the organisms? So for this, the multicellular organisms require a speci special mechanisms to uh, deliver oxygen to all the available cells which is present in the body. So oxygen is very, very essential. One of the main role of oxygen is uh, it is utilized for the conversion of uh, uh, pyruvic acid into uh, citric acid cycle and the electron transport chain and the complete oxidation of glucose you can say. So then only we can produce 34 ATPs otherwise we only produce only 2 ATPs out of 1 glucose molecule. So these energy calculations are detailedly explained in uh, the respiration chapter. So oxygen is essential for all the living cells and in the multicellular organisms, all the cells which is present inside it, essential, essentially to uptake oxygen and it to release the carbon dioxide back. So that the circulation system evolves. The circulation system contains fluid which may or may not have uh, the uh, oxygen containing pigments. So this fluid, the oxygen is dissolved or if the oxygen capturing proteins are there like hemoglobin, the oxygen is absorbed and it is transported through the body. So the first formed uh, system is open circulatory system and in the open circulatory system like when we are uh, stirring the water in order to dissolve the sugar, the open circulatory system have some muscles so that it circulates the uh, blood and uh, it facilitates the gaseous exchange. In next class, we will discuss why the closed circulation system is better than the open circulatory system and even more. Thank you.